The citizens of Tinley Park gathered at Central Middle School on Sunday to hand out 12,000 of these flyers, informing their neighbors of what their village is doing. Hello everybody, we're uh, passing out the remaining bundles of door hangers that are going to be distributed to 12,000 residences throughout Tilling Park. Getting the word out on what our village has done in recent times to uh, basically break the law. OMA violations, FOIA violations. It says, do you know what your village is doing? Why did you choose that message? Because nobody seems to know. Well, for one, I just learned in the last couple months what exactly our village has been up to over the past, I don't know, what, years. Yeah, I came to head with the, the, the reserve project that's supposed to be going up across the street here. Just how corrupt and insane the whole thing is in terms of what they think they can get away with. Now they've got a giant group of people, citizen, uh, citizens of Tilling Park, that are keeping an eye on them closely and they don't tend to like it too much. This is just a reminder for everybody prior to Tuesday's board meeting of some details of what exactly they're doing. They're important to remind people um, of exactly what's going on. People, a lot of people out there today, yeah, a lot of letting a lot of new people know. A lot of people that know about this just know about Buckeye. They think Buckeye's the bad guy when actually it's the village trustees and the village and the mayor of the village who are the bad guys in terms of letting people, letting these things happen in the first place by not doing their jobs properly, putting too much trust in people who they shouldn't have put trust in, like the planning director, and Letting, letting any vote bypass the board at all when we elected them to take care of doing those things, and that's why we're here. Back in, Tony. Oh, here you go, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, it's tough to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for doing this. There's your map. There's your cards. Thanks, Tony. Now, you guys have a route with a lot of apartments and condos. I don't know how many you're going to need. I gave you 600. If you need more, let me know. That's 600. Rosemary and husband. Hey Rosemary, how are you? You've got Route 3, which is right around here. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get these uh, out to as many people in the town as possible. I, I think may have, Mike may have mentioned we have about 12,000. So on the back, um, it, it's literally uh, just says, do you know what Tinley Park is doing? Um, and it, it gives some bullet points here, some facts, things that people may not already know. Did you know the high-ranking village employees colluded with an Ohio developer to change the village's building code. The village board approved this change without fully understanding what the impact was. They violated the Illinois Open Meetings Act by failing to give proper public notice about the public hearing. The village almost let the developer pocket millions of dollars uh, in, in tax funded tax credits to build a 47 unit uh, low income housing at a cost of $351,000 per unit, $16.5 million. The, the village uh, has ongoing challenges with complying with the uh, Freedom of Information Act in both uh, um, responding timely to uh, uh, requests uh, for information um, as well as uh, giving complete and accurate information. Uh, a lot of the information is just entirely redacted, which means just blacked out. The, the whole thing started with the village abandoning its uh, elected role in approving such projects. A $16.5 million project um, by design not going through uh, village board approval. Did you know that uh, very shortly after all this came to light, seven of nine land commissioners have resigned. But quite frankly, they were put in this position by the village administration and the village board. I think that the way of doing business in this town for decades has has been that the direction has come down from on top and people go along. After people see this on their door, I would like them to get active. Go on the Facebook page. Go on the uh, www.citizensoftillingpark.com website. Inform yourself about what's going on. That's what they're there for. Utilize the resources that we've created through our actions, okay? Um, read the back. Understand what the village has done and continues to do and what we're trying to stop. The next board meeting is at Andrew High School in the auditorium, 8 o'clock, this coming Tuesday, the 22nd of March. The citizens of Tinley Park are simply not going to take business as usual anymore.